Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video. And yesterday we covered the best of the best, the best cards in 2021, all to build up to our year end award show of the Zeddies, where we'll honor the absolute best card, the absolute worst card in all sorts of different categories. You guys have shared your opinions in the comments. Continue to do that on what you would like to see covered, as well as your opinions on my list, of course. Should be a lot of fun. Hit that sub button if you haven't, so you don't miss everything that's going on. And well, let's take a look at what every class is worst card was from 2021 and again this is all cards released in 2021 so you have the dark moon fair mini set you have the core set you have forge of the barons and its mini set united and stormwind and its mini set as well as fractured in alterac valley the latest expansion so the first class we're going to start off with is demon hunter and honestly I look through all the Demon Hunter cards and a lot of these cards in general. It's funny. Every year I make a worst card list, the cards just get better and better. Like the worst cards aren't even particularly bad for a lot of them. It's just, it's crazy. The power creep that we've seen in the game. There are some bad cards. Don't get me wrong. There are some bad cards, but overall, I'm not even going to have honorable mentions for the most part. It's just going to be, this is a straight up the worst card, I think, in the class. And starting off with Demon Hunter, I don't even think this card is that bad, but that's Metamorphin, the one mana one two Murloc for Demon Hunter. It has taunt, and if you gain, if you've played a Fell spell this turn, gain plus two plus two. So if you're playing like a Fell deck, you get an early, a cheap, flexible little taunt. It's seen very little play. It's not very good. I've even seen it like odd DH and wild, but yeah, it, it's it's just not a very great card, but. It's not terrible either. There just really wasn't that many bad Demon Hunter cards that I, I honestly could come up with. And for me, it's Metamorphin. Cute little Murloc, but unfortunately, the worst card in 2021 for Demon Hunter. Next, we have Druid, which, well, okay, Druid's got a bad card here. And this is uh, pretty spectacularly bad, but this card, you wouldn't even know it. It has a great animation, a great artwork, and it's Sheldrus Moon Tree. Eight mana, five, five, legendary. You might not even know this exists. It has a battle cry. The next three spells you draw are cast when drawn. So say you play Sheldrus and then you draw into like survival of the fittest. You got a big swing, but my God, this thing is like impossible to set up. It's eight mana, do nothing. Even with an alignment, you'd rather be doing other stuff. Terrible card. I've yet to see the C play at all in any deck, in any format horrendously bad like this is actually a horrendously bad card that actually could end up breaking the game at some point if they if they force this deck somehow this card somehow it could theoretically break the game but as it stands just terrible and that's kind of funny that a terrible card could actually be insane at some point. Next, we have the Hunter cards. And Hunter for me, um, it didn't pick up a lot of great cards. It picked up a lot of middling cards all year. They had like the beast stuff, all, all you know, they try to get a little quest support, but not too much, but it basically is face Hunter all year. And a card that came out very early was Tavish Stormpike. Three minute, two, five. After a friendly beast attacks, summon a beast from your deck that costs one less. Again, this is a card I've literally never seen on ladder in standard or wild. It's a bad arena pick. It's just not a great card. There's not a lot of insane synergies with it. And how we saw like that Ikman card that just does this better, although it's nine mana, of course. It's just not good. It's underwhelming. It was the mercenary legendary for Hunter and just kind of sucked and it was kind of forgotten about and really just didn't do much of anything. So for me, it's got to be the worst hunter card of the year with mage this one's pretty easy i don't know what the plan was with mage during this mini set but they're like you know what it was during the forge and the barons mini set we're like you know what randomly we want freeze mage to come back but we made two just terrible freeze cards and one of them shattering blast and this card's terrible destroy all frozen minions for three mana like there's no frost nova in standard there's not the best freeze effects it's like you just don't care this card was only it did technically see play i will give it that some people ran it literally just to play three mana do nothing activate your quest for a frost spell other than that this card is just just underwhelming, bad, and even in Wild, where you do have Frost Nova, has seen absolutely no play. In Paladin, we have one of first of on the list, which is the Soldier's Caravan. This is a two mana, one three Paladin minion. At the start of your turn, so I'm a two one one Silver Hand Recruit. So it's a two mana, one three, do nothing. It has to survive, and then you get a couple of dudes. This card's not terrible. It's actually one of the better caravans, but that's how bad the caravans are. They're terrible. And this card, just, just didn't ever make the cut. Paladin has so many broken cards, so many amazing things to do. Why would you play a Soldier's Caravan? In Arena, 
okay pick. Ladder, not so much. And Paladin just got so much busted stuff all year that this is just happens to be what I think is the worst Paladin card. It's not particularly terrible, but again, Paladin just has way, way better stuff. Next, we have Priest, which has sucked all year for the most part and didn't get a ton of support. I'd say a lot of the Priest cards aren't particularly bad. They're all just, again, kind of middling, but when every other class is getting broken beyond insane stuff, it's kind of hard for Priest to keep up. So when you get a card like Stormpike 8 Station, three mana spell that at the end of your turn gives your minions plus two health at last three turns, when you don't have a strategy that ever really revolves around you keeping the board, outside of like maybe a Miracle Priest that doesn't really care about this card, this card is just irrelevant. It's an objective that just doesn't do anything and hasn't really seen any real play, at least not that I've seen in Standard Wild. Just There's just a million better things to do in Stormpike Aid Station for me, worst priest card of the year. Next, we have Rogue, which had a bunch of broken cards this year. It's been a great class for the most of it, but they got a new weapon, a two mana two, two weapon, the Lobotomizer, which has that amazing mechanic of honorable kill on it. And if you honorable kill, you get a copy of your card top your opponent's top deck neat you get some value for a bad weapon and awkward trading when you're a class that can kill like nothing draw cards like nothing create value like nothing i don't know why you're playing the lobotomizer there was even a card in the same year uh in the same year in rogue one mana two two weapon that you can trade and discount a spell in your hand effectively a free card draw and then you have the lobotomizer, just just awful. And uh, yeah, uh, Rogue definitely, I didn't really need help, so I guess it's okay, but just it's just kind of funny to compare it to some of the other Rogue cards. Next we have Shaman, and we have another Caravan, Tiny Finn's Caravan. This is a two mana one three Caravan that if it survives, you draw a Murloc. And well, Murloc Shaman, do you remember the last time you saw that in Standard? Not really a thing. And even in Wild, where it has been a thing, you don't want to run this card, because it's terrible. It's two mana maybe I draw a card not nearly reliable enough and again it only works with Murlocs terrible card terrible mechanic this whole caravan thing was probably the worst mechanic of the year maybe that will be a category who knows but yeah tiny Vince caravan definitely deserves to be on the list and hey speaking of caravans the next one we have is the warlock one apothecary's caravan two minute one three that at the start of your turn you draw or you, you basically recruit out a one drop from your deck wow i'm gonna get like a flame imp or like i don't know an elwin boar like there was like no good one drops to even cheat out and Warlock, what, what are you doing with this card? I just, again, it's a mind boggling one and it's not like there was ever good one drops made that would make sense with this throughout the entire year for Warlock. There's some two ones, but I don't want to cheat those out. Like just a terrible, terrible card. Unbelievable. So yeah, three caravans on the list. Uh, for Warrior, we have Axe a Berserker, the Aforeman, a Rush minion for Warrior, which if you honorably kill, you draw a weapon. So it's conditional, bad stats, just awkward, and you might draw a weapon. A uh, Warrior has a lot better stuff to do, plus they just play Pirates. You just play Pirates? Why are you playing Axe Berserker? It's just pointless, and you might as well play, you know, Corsair Cash and just draw your weapon anyways. That's in standard. Awful card, awful card. And for the neutral set, this is obvious. This is a no-brainer. This card, I swear, was made to be a meme and be bad. That's Two-Faced Investor, 3-mana, 2-4 minion that... Uh, basically will either make a card in your hand cost one more or one less. The upside of it, not worth it. The downside of it, absolutely game losing and the body itself sucks. So I don't know what you're ever doing with this card other than Mark will make a combo out of it. But yeah, definitely the worst neutral of the year. So there you go. Those are my picks for worst cards of the year. Let me know in the comments below what your picks are, what you disagree with, and we'll catch you soon with the next top 10 list or whatever we decide to cover. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.